Hi, so this is another part of the Mafia Definitive Edition tutorial and this is Trip to the Country or Trip to a Country So the start is really boring, you just go to Ralph and do some quick driving. Skip cuts in here obviously. Get into the car that's in front of you, don't go to the garage, that's slow. And you just skip driving. After you arrive, you will get another cutscene. That you skip. And now you're in a country and you can just go straight. Then you get this cutscene when you click E on it. And after you skip it, there's going to be a guy on your left side that's going to uh, like run to cover and you want to kill him like as soon as you can. That's like one free kill. And you can kill a guy here. Here's a Tommy gun, Tommy gun guy. You take his Thompson that guy and run to the car. You don't have to reload here, oh, like the checkpoint, but you can if you want, like full ammo instantly. One of this. Run here. And you want to kill these guys, like with as little ammo as possible, take this ammo, open this door. I usually hold this right side and kill them all one by one, this is really not hard. When you get low on ammo, I have like 9, sometimes when you pick up a new Thompson, you will get the ammo instantly refilled in your clip. But this time it didn't happen. It happens if the Thompson has like more ammo, I guess. But the guy probably shot a lot. We skip the cutscene. And you probably have low ammo, so I almost always reload here. Unless I get like good headshots. And here's an important thing. Don't shoot the barrels. Don't shoot them now because that will not help you. Don't forget this guy in the, on the right. If there's someone running into that, kill them as fast as you can and just shoot them. And once they get near this, you just kill them with the barrel. Then you check some and you will get for the, you will get the Maltovs. Get the motives like instantly. Take out the gun, any gun, it doesn't matter. You're not going to shoot m like too much. Explode the barrel when the car comes and throw two molotovs on this. Or, I mean, you, you can throw one, it's the same damage. But if you throw two, like, it's just safety measure in case you miss the first one. Here, this seems to be an auto scroller. So, I usually shoot here just for fun. Only in some parts of this it actually matters. When I wasn't attacking at all, I was getting the same uh, like time, so I suppose it doesn't matter in these parts, but just to be safe you can shoot. And if someone can measure that like on their own, maybe they will find, some, find something different. But I really didn't find anything here. Okay. 
Let's give this cutscene. And again, in this part, doesn't matter what you do. At least we think so. Not, not guaranteed, but we think that it doesn't do anything. So now there's gonna be part that matters. And I usually wait for this car to stop and I kill them all in the first car as soon as I can. If you kill them all, the new next car will like trigger and it will arrive. If you don't kill the first car, it won't arrive like so quickly. And then you just kill the rest. This is bad RNG because they usually don't survive. This. But this is fine because the car arrived. The first car is important basically. Then you just shoot the top thing. Doesn't really matter like if it's shooting or not, it will not kill you. But you want to land as many bullets into it as possible. And then the windows as well. Both are doable in one clip but it's very accurate and probably very hard. Then you skip this cutscene and you just spam G button on the ground. And once they pass through three flames, they will get exploded. Skip the three cutscenes. And the last thing you do is enter the car, skip driving. Sometimes the car flies in the air for some reason. And now you just go to Sarah's apartment. Just follow the point on the map. And we'll skip the cutscenes. And that's the end of Trip to the Country. <laughs>